it's silly me. I've been talking to myself for a while. So yeah, anyway, I'm due. Well, I was. <laughs> I thought I was recording the camera, so sorry about that. So yeah, I was. I'm doing the Z Academy Generation One. Very excited today because I'm gonna be doing the repair for the charge connector. Charge remote connector. So as you can see, I already cleaned out the ribbon pads. Um, the Nato I'm gonna use in today, I think best for this is probably one uh, 183C. It's the higher nothing point one. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the solder paste on it on the board. Okay. Get my trusty soldering iron. Clean it. I want to tin it onto the board. So we have a little layer of the soldering 183. You want to also tin these connectors, these ribbon connectors. So, you, so you can see better. So yeah, um, if you have this problem, I would imagine it's a common problem. Um, send it in. Send, sign. Uh, go to our website cyberdagilc.com and send in your broken iPad Mini or iPad Air, broken ribbon connector. So I can do this repair for you. I really like to do this repair by now. This is interesting. And once you do that, basically you want to team these pads. Before you even start, we have a higher chance of getting these points on that. Okay, 
still have a really high power microscope for this job, I guess. I don't know. I thought you didn't need it, but I guess you do. You can see through. Um, there's two dots on either side of the connector. Two dots on either side of the connector, you want it to be a line. Okay, let's see one side. Let's see the other. Good. It's a line, I think. So, do as much as you can. A line. And now the trick is to do the soldering. Without burning my own finger. Yeah, you need this to be a line for this to be. Um, 
the other pods are okay. And you always want to, once you finish, you want to test it with the screen. To check. I don't know how other people do this repair. Um, I came out with it originally, and I always been using the soldering iron. I had to make my own tips because otherwise you really can't reach to these difficult places. Because this tip is made of copper alloy, it soaks out solder really well, so it can work really well with this. AU solder station which is really crappy. It doesn't heat up, right? Temperature profile as well. Uh, it's like money to buy high group. Oh, <laughs> Time is money. Um, if your tool is wasting your money, replace it. I only have one Haiku iron and I've been using it for the other stuff, different iron tips. I don't even think it's going to work for 200 degrees also to be honest.
Okay, thank you for watching. Ciao.